Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making another pizza dessert creation of ours. This one is a lemon meringue pizza pie. Now this uses lemon curd, uh, marshmallow, it's not marshmallow quite, it's marshmallow fluff. Now you can make this at home, it's quite easy, but I figured that if you want to copy this recipe you might not be bothered to make it at home, so I just decided to buy some. This one's called marshmallow fluff as you can see. We're just using standard lemon curd. We'll also be using some uh, meringue ness and some lemon shell. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is put the pizza in the oven. We're not going to put anything on it yet and just half cook it. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go put this in the oven for a little while. We just kind of, we don't want to burn it as such, but we just want to firm it up and get it ready. So as we say, then let it cook for a little while. Okay, next we're just going to put on the lemon curd. The reason we're doing it this way is because it's just easier to spread. If you did put the lemon curd on the pizza before you cooked it, I've tried that as well. And to be honest, it worked absolutely fine. So either way is fine. Whatever way you want to do it, really. Doesn't really matter. So just what you want to do here is just make sure you get the lemon curd all around the pizza, of course. We're going to be using quite a bit because this is about a 10 inch pizza, so. We just want to get it all the way around, like so, and that's that, I think. Of course, it also depends how lemony you want it, but I think that looks about right. So, next, we're going to put on our marshmallow fluff. I'm just going to get a queen spin for that part. And what I'm going to do here is actually put it on blobs because it gives a nice melted marshmallow effect once it's on the pizza. So I think that's a nicer way of doing it rather than spreading it all over. I have tried both. I think this is the way I would prefer to do it. So we'll just get some blobs all round. Just like you were putting marshmallows on a pizza really. And what we're going to do next once I've done this is put it back in the oven for a little while just to brown off the marshmallow and give it that real nice lemon meringue pie effect. So it's very sticky, I have to say that about it. There we go. And we'll probably just try and move that bit over a bit. And then we'll put one more here. Okay. That'll do, won't it? That'll do. Lovely. Lovely. I'm just going to move that over. Right. Make sure it's even throughout the pizza and a bit in the middle because why not why not there that looks good to me let's go put it in the oven okay so what we're doing here is we're not actually putting the pizza on the floor of the oven we're actually holding it up to the flame to toast the marshmallows. Oh wow, that's looking pretty good to me. Right, okay, I'm going to finish it off now. What I'm going to do to finish it off is get some meringue nest and just crush it around the outside like that. And that'll give it that sweet crunch. And finally, we're going to just, oops, a bit generous with a lemon shell there, but oh well, doesn't matter, does it's it? It's Friday. It's Friday. So there we go. Lemon meringue pizza pie. Nice. Looking good. 
can't wait to taste that. It's Friday! Yay! So there we go. Thanks for joining us. I hope you liked this idea. I think it was fantastic. We can't wait to try it. So please like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.